Hello, all my friends, thank you, and uh, welcome to this uh, pine cone on location. I'm now in Florida, and I think I can hear my baby. My daughter's baby is coming out. She's waking up, and it's fun. And so I decided to take the time to do this and uh, to have fun. I had the pine cone uh, getting ready. I had it all ready in my mind, and I actually did some practice here yesterday, but this one is more complicated, okay? and uh, we can do it in some future time but uh, I decided to go ahead and draw another one uh, that I'm a little bit simpler and so uh, you guys will have fun painting with me and uh, I'm here trying to uh, help my daughter with her newborn baby and so the sleep is actually going well we take shift to help my daughter and uh, keep her cheerful and all these things and so we will uh, step by step of course like usual and I'm going to uh, try my best to get my blog post and have a drawing of this right and I think this is really fun and cute and I think you guys will have fun doing this with me and uh, do uh, and try our hands on uh, doing monochromatic without the color first because it's a pine cone and then add the color to make it a little bit less of a sepia but more you know with the yellow and the quinacridone burn orange that's what I use here but anyway so uh, I'm going to talk less and uh, and uh, thank you for coming, of course, to join in my blog, sunsetpeonly.com, and you, you go sunsetpeonlys.com, sorry, talk so fast, and um, and you guys can go and uh, uh, get the drawing out and so that you can do this, okay? I think this turned out really quite well, and it is, uh, you know, we learned something today, uh, some kind of different uh, technique, and so it will be a really fun thing for you guys to do, and uh, I will uh, stop talking. So let's get started. I am actually on location. I'm actually in uh, Florida. So if I were in Provo, I would um, I would uh, talk to you guys about how cold it is. And now I'm very warm. I think it's about 70 degrees outside. And that's awesome. But then <laughs> I have planned to do a pine cone. And so I had every other material ready. So I usually would just go ahead and do that. And uh, pine cone is very, very fun. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm using my uh, uh, flow brush and uh, I'm picking up some sepia ink and I will just show you this really fast. I don't really have time to like, because pine cone, I have this um, this uh, traveling palette. It's a very, very small palette, not very, very small, but I have all the color that I made up myself. I bought it from Amazon. And uh, if you guys wanted to know what it is, just let me know. And uh, like I always promise you, right, I will do a review or in, you know, not a review. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm putting um, a layer of sepia on this uh, pine cone, okay? Because this is the, you know, a very, very watery, not watery, a very, very, um, what do you call that? A very, very uh, light color. It might not seem light, but um, we will try to do our best to do it as light as possible, okay? Because that's the color I wanted to use. Now, I finished talking about that palette. It's uh, something that I got from Amazon. I actually uh, got one for my grandson so that he can have some, a little palette because they always like, like to have their own palette, right? And then I like the, the way I can uh, store the color and so I make it I, I take all the color that belong in the palette out and put in my own color you know of course we will do things like that because it's just nice okay so just a very very um, diluted sepia now um, when I was doing my practicing I'll show you my practice here in a minute when I was doing my practicing now the um, I was uh, you know, just using the sepia ink because I don't have a lot of different ink, but I actually have enough with me. And I will tell you actually why I am here in a minute too. Um, and so I decided to just uh, bring, you know, to just use what I have and uh, trying a different kind of method, a method of, um, uh, a method of uh, trying to, um, you know, not use a lot of color, right? And uh, I will show you, this is my uh, practice yesterday. I, um, you know, I would do that one with you guys, but I also know that because we're on location, we have a lot of factor going into um, 
you know, giving you guys a deciding which one I wanted to do. I absolutely love that one. I think it turned out really well. You know what? I would have done uh, more, but you know, I was uh, in a hurry to leave, you know, to do something. I would have put uh, some yellow ochre on the light part, okay? But I didn't do that because I know it's a practice, right? I get as much out of it as I needed to and then I stopped it. <laughs> you know, so that's what I did. And so now, you know, because that was a watery and thin layer, I need to, you know, use my finger to try. My phone, I'm filming with my phone, which is, you know, very, very good light, right? But I'm very, very close to my, so if I, to my paintings, if I bump it, then you know, you know, I'm just doing the best that I can. And, uh, but I just uh, really wanted to um, do what I uh, come here to do today because, uh, um, uh, uh, so I will have, uh, of course, have a painting here for you to follow. Now, uh, um, so what I'm gonna do is like I'm trying to think about how what the best way to explain what I'm doing. I'm doing the shadowy part, the shadow part of the, you know, of the pine cone where it goes, um, you know, the light part, and then you go into the shadow. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. You know, still using sepia ink. I find out that you know I can just like almost like just use one ink and then uh, it could just uh, one color ink sepia and I can actually do the whole thing but I'm going to put in some more color here and there just for the fun of it you know and of course you know that you can get the the drawing from me um, from uh, my blog sunsetpeony.com and just go there and uh, find this uh, post and then you can if you feel like you do need uh, to have something to help you um, to help you out okay so uh, this will be a good one to um, kind of watch it you know a little bit first and because like right now I think you you know you you understand that I'm doing the darker part of the pine cone And so what happened to this painting is that there will be a lot of details, okay? You know, because we're um, doing one uh, one of the uh, one of the section, the segment at a time, right? And so I I still have to be kind of what is the term for it to be uh, careful and worry about the time. And since, you know, pine cone, they're stacking, right? There's like part stacking here and there. So we need to just uh, keep that in mind and keep thinking about it and say, hey, what am I doing here? You know, so that we get everything strict in our mind, right? So, you know, we're mainly a lot of the time we're just painting shadows. And it's kind of, it's really kind of fun. You know, and as you always know that I don't like to, uh, things to be too monotonous. So my pine cone um, go here and there. There's a lot of them that uh, go here and there. And, you know, that's just the way, you know, I like it. You know, I wanted to do it that way. And they're not like uh, very systematic if that uh, term actually makes sense. It will make more sense as we go along more. Okay, still uh, trying to paint the shadow, okay? No, so this is the deepest uh, inside part of the pine cone that you don't, you can't see very well, right? Because it's, uh, uh, that's where the spider usually like to reside because it's so dark in there for them. They felt like they are safe and they can hide in there and good for them if that's how they feel. <laughs> you know, sometimes painting shadow is like kind of counterintuitive because you're like, ah, what am I looking at? You know, so I will show you a little bit to, you know, so I can explain, you know. So if you're looking at my uh, practice yesterday, this is the part, you know, where the deepest, deepest recess of the pine cone, where <laughs> the best way to describe this is where the spider likes to go. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't scare you. It shouldn't. You know, but pine cone is such, is, you know, such a beautiful thing in nature, especially, you know, around Christmas time. And I've seen a lot of Christmas card. It's just, you know, sometimes people just like to just paint a pine cone. But I'm going to make this a little bit more colorful just by a drop of color here and there at the very end, okay? Then the one that I practice, because that's why, 
you know, that's what I wanted to do. You know, the edge, you know, it's, it's kind of doing a sharp line, you know, and then the part where it comes from the dark part, you know, of the pine cone, you, you know, you uh, put some pigment on there, like what I just did, and then you come here and you kind of soften it because as the dark uh, light, the, as the darkness come out, you know, it receives more light over here, right? But it's gradual, so you need to soften the line. You know, so to make it more believable, okay? Let's keep going on this, you know, and uh, so that's why I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to just repeat what I'm doing. You know, put a little bit of pigment here and as, as the dark part going into the middle also, you also need to soften the line, okay? And I'm trying to do, do a lost line right there that you don't see anything right at this part, just you know, for artistic, uh, you know, artistic rendition to make it look more artistic, I guess, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, I, uh, so we actually have time to talk because we are just uh, going to go do the same thing over and over again. And uh, we can just chat a little bit. The thing that I wanted to chat to you with you guys about is uh, I come here to visit a, a, a new family member and she's one week old today and so it's been uh, for those of you who has been around newborn and you know that <laughs> they are very very unpredictable but just very very lovely to be around I will um, show the picture of her you know put a picture with this you know I'll just drop it in you know somewhere so you guys can see you know can meet her uh, in her sleeping state <laughs> You know, I, I know that I'm supposed to be, you know, I guess I need to be more careful, you know, with, um, you know, people, you know, showing them on, uh, but, you know, just the back of her, how's that? She is uh, very, very precious. She, you know, you know, I was just telling my daughter, now this is Rachel, my daughter, who is the brain child of all of my, um, you know, the CS uh, people that helped me with all of my, uh, with all of my technical need and she's the one that uh now if she wake up now she's taking a nap if she's wake up here and uh you know of course she'll scream right but i have made a decision when i started to do this um painting that if that's what happened then we will just uh let her you know make noise and scream a little bit in the background because uh, you know <laughs> that make uh, that make my painting actually more fun, don't you think? It's not so boring that we're always quiet. You know, when I'm at my house, um, you guys in my studio, even when the doorbell ring, you guys can't hear anything. Maybe knocking, like, you know, sometimes people come visit me or drop something off for me, you guys can hear it, but it'll be kind of fun to have her actually scream. <laughs> you know, um, She's a very, very good girl, you know, but you know how newborn baby when uh when they uh when they uh you know try to wake up they uh they do like to scream a little bit because I think their blood sugar is so low right during their nap and uh they want it to nurse right away and if you don't stuff uh, the breast uh, in front of her right away then she will um she will actually uh be very very upset. Like, uh, where's my foot? I want it, and I want it right now. <laughs> it's so funny. She is uh, very good, if I may say so. I uh, I only have two daughters myself, you know, so my intensive, uh, 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 my intensive uh, experience with my two babies are, uh, you know, they're quite similar, but different. You know, baby all behave differently because they are different. And uh, when my, um, my older one has a very, very good set of lungs when she come back. She was two weeks early and she screamed quite a lot. But my youngest one uh, was more like a quiet baby. You know, it was harder. She doesn't eat as much. It was harder to wake her up sometimes to, you know, to feed. And she doesn't want to feed too much. When she's done, she's done. She'll just tell you. But my oldest one, she just loved to just... Uh, 
but do you see the darkness then this is the cap you know of the pine cone and uh, we're gonna do something with that but now we're just doing the shadow okay so you can see that i put in some pigment and uh, randomly you know i just wanted to you know give you the impression that you can randomly um decide how much shadow you want it you know if you want more shadow like say oh maybe over here is more shadow then you can just do that okay you can make that decision yourself and uh, I would like you to if you can and or want to you can just go pick up pineco pineco is the most available uh, material if I can call it material because you know people use pineco for a lot of things right it's the most uh, organic uh, seed I guess it is a seed right um, that is out there so we run into them you can just uh, you know that you will run into them you know easily wherever you wanted to uh, get one you run into them easily and they they are easily available that's what I mean <laughs> um, and so you can just like uh, you know if you if you will take the time to sketch one ahead of time before you start painting you will actually learn a lot more and be able to be more efficient you know and uh, I really encourage you guys to do so um, if you wanted to you know go out and uh, find a pine cone and just uh, bring it home and just sit down and you know do some sketching on it and you know see you know how they actually uh, grow it will help you to see how they actually grow and uh, it's actually kind of fun and fascinating and uh, when you are painting be careful because sometimes might be a little spider will come out and say hi because uh, you're disturbing where they live, right? <laughs> and that will be kind of fun too. You know, I remember my first time, I was, um, I actually was kind of insecure because, you know, they seem so complicated when I was, um, when, you know, many, many years ago. And uh, so one time I was waiting for my husband at uh, the university down there and I thought, Oh, there's a pine cone. I was looking at the pine cone. I was looking at it, looking at it. I say, you know, I look at this enough. I'm just going to, you know, uh, reach into my purse like the good artists or the good behaving artists that I am. <laughs> I sometimes have a sketchbook there and a pencil. And so I start just sit there on the floor and sketch it. You know, a lot of times we wait for people, we wait for doctors, or wait for children, you know, coming out. It's a very good time for sketching because, you know, a lot of time you just, um, well, what do you get to do? You don't get to, uh, you know, rush anyone. And so if you are going to a boring game, that a game that you find that is boring, then you just uh, sit down and sketch your pine cone or sketch something, you know. So it's good to bring a little bit of a sketchbook you know that you can make yourself or you can you know sketchbook uh, not not that too expensive you know go out and do something like that and uh, and then when you had the chance then you suddenly you're not impatient waiting for people anymore you know that's why I find out it uh, it uh, I think some of some of the time when you're impatient is because of anxiety right would you say so for me, actually, anyway, you know, I can see that I'm kind of anxious, like, oh, when is it done? I'm so bored or something. But when you can sketch, you're not bored. Actually, you know, ever since I have decided to, so you can see the pine cone is coming together, right? Actually, when I have decided to um, start sketching, I, uh, I uh, you know, wish people would take more of the time to get ready uh, and such. <laughs> So they give me more time, you know, to sketch. You know, where I learned that is, uh, I learned that uh, from watching my mother-in-law. You know, my father-in-law is always like kind of a busy businessman. And every time we need to go on a trip or, you know, go to the mountain and such, you know, we wait for him, right? And everybody wanted to talk to him because he's, you know, he's the boss and they need to get plenty of instruction from him before he leave. And so we... Uh, we would be f waiting for him for a long time, sometimes hours, seriously. We wait for him for hours, you know, and if you have a baby, that's really hard. You're okay, baby is ready to go. Okay, we can go now. You know, baby usually are the boss, right? But 
no, my, my father-in-law is the boss. And so what my mother-in-law does is sheer. Now this is the dark area. So it seems, um, you know, it seems ambiguous to you. But what I'm doing is, uh, you know, I do it by segment. But still, you know, it's very, very, it's supposed to be d dark. But I don't want to, like, like everything, uh, the rule holds, okay, when you are painting. You know, if um, this is like getting wet, like right here, I can f see that it's wet. Then I will keep going on uh you know the other part so that i would not uh make this so wet that you know i ruin the middle part right but then when it's dry you know you can't really ruin it but when it's dry you can come back and make it more wet even see my daughter is in there blow drying her hair <laughs> it's uh you know this you know really is when you have babies you have challenge right because uh, they're so unpredictable and uh, so you know you every day is better right because they grow every day and uh, so you can sleep a little bit better this is a this is a good sleeper except the night time <laughs> I don't want to give you guys the impression that you know actually babies are <laughs> you know are easy to handle they're not you know but we love them they're just really adorable and you know you you know their potential right you know what they will become one day and so we put up with them and be very very nice to them and love them and be patient and meanwhile we drop everything and it's good for me to come and help because i help her you know emotionally like if she doesn't understand why she is you know postpartum right you changed your home and you uh you are uh, sometimes uh don't uh, feel so well and you wonder why you're so grumpy or so sad and such you know because the happiness of the hormone left you when you're pregnant i don't have to tell you guys you know if you guys uh, <laughs> uh you know have babies before you know exactly how that felt right and it's all okay those are all fine you know and time will pass and you know things will change you know, even, you know, with uh, us too, you know, right? Like sometimes we experience uh, blues and depression for a period of time. Now, painting is really a good thing for us because it help, help us to, you know, use all of our facet of our mind to just say, hey, I'm going to uh, do something and I'm going to focus, you know, put my trouble aside, you know, and that's all good things, okay? I tell you this because I totally believe this um, and I want you to you know understand that you know it's very very good for us you know or, or I wouldn't be doing this you might you might be wondering hey Kathy you're a grandma you know why are you why are you uh, making a video because one is I really wanted to it's good for me because I get things ready and I think about things you know and uh, and here I am <laughs> no, but do you see the cap? You know, the cap area, that's the lightest part, right? Of the pine cone. You know that Florida actually have pines. <laughs> I should have gone outside and grabbed a pine and show you guys. You know, but they actually have pines outside and it's kind of fun. Um, you know, uh, I was walk. I know I was actually driving. I drove my daughter to see the her doctor yesterday, you know, for a checkup on some of her stitches. And... Uh, and so she said, Mom, don't you just love the pine tree over here? <laughs> you know, and then I, I turn and I say, oh my gosh, there's pines. And they're actually quite tall. You know, of course, uh, hopefully some of you are from Florida. You actually know what I'm talking about. They have a variety of things, you know. I am actually, um, you know, it depends on the baby, right? This baby, she, of course, babies are very good when you go uh, on outing with them because they're the environment is so overwhelming to them that they actually take the time to sleep you know sleep off what um, you know is happening to them and so it's good for them every time you present a challenge to a newborn they they learn something too uh, or children right we know that you go on a trip with the child and they learn a lot and so um, I saw pine tree pine tree in Florida I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about those of you who have lived around here I hope I'm not whispering too much. I'm not trying to whisper. I'm just trying to talk, you know, but you can't help yourself, you know, having a baby in the house that you 
kind of suddenly you go into whispering mode, right? You know, like I always tell you guys, I I love doing this and I love making friends with you guys. I am not, uh, you know, I'm not trying to present myself as so professional, you know, but more personal, you know. So I thought, hey, you know, since I'm personal with my friends, uh, I can talk to them and let them know that, you know, about what's happening in my environment and uh, I can trust that, you know, because you guys are such kind people that you won't be expecting me to be very professional, uh, you know, in this channel, right? But personal and helpful, how's that? That's how I look at myself and my channel. I like to be that, you know. Personal and helpful because I'm just a normal human that wanted to share and make video of my and I actually like it and so you know I like to be that way to you for you guys right now so you see that there's a cap here and there's a stick sticking out of here right but the dark part is still you know connected kind of and so you can just do that together I love my kids here my uh, you know I call my son-in-law my kids too because he literally is mine you know more, he married my daughter and he's, uh, you know, kind of not adopted. He become he's sealed to her, you know, to, to uh, as part of my son too. You know, I just love them. So, you know, if you, you know that I only have two dollars and sometimes I say my son, you know that I'm talking about my son-in-law. But they are, you know, I look at them as my son. I treat them as my son. And he's like uh, so helpful, you know. He just love love having that child around, and he's just trying so hard to help her, you know. But all the insecurity will be gone because the baby will be more reasonable. And then when they grow up, you can actually like say, "Hey, it's time to go to bed," <laughs> and that's like good times, you know. And you know that that's ahead of you, right? Okay, you've been up long enough, you know. <laughs> you know, it's time to go to bed so you can get your sleep. Something like that. Yeah, and I hope you guys like, uh, now you see that, you know, I'm like doing the darkness and now you can see how the pine cone is going together, you know. And I, you know, I, ho I hope you like my style, my personal style, because it's just... Uh, you know, it's nice and I can be kinder, I don't have to, you know, I can be myself, I don't have to, like, uh, trying to go and find out how you say a certain thing and then felt bad if I don't do it correctly, you know. Most important part is I give you guys the, let you guys see how to do things and point you guys to the right direction and practice with you, you know, with coming up with all these fun things to paint and uh, I like to be personal. I'm not a professional person, I haven't, like, you know. You know, I haven't uh, really learned to be professional, seriously. <laughs> okay, now it's all, like, it's like coming together, right? Okay, now, since I'm uh, filming with the phone at the 30, uh, oh, it's say low power. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let me turn that off, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, and so let's keep going with this, okay? The light, you know, I'm actually heavily dependent on the sunlight and the sun just kind of went away, but that's okay. We can keep going. You guys have already, you know, have an idea of what we're doing, right? And so let's uh, keep, uh, you know, because uh, we're pretty much done with the shadow part, but do you see how pretty this area is? That's how shadow looks like, right? They're irregular in there because there's lumps and bumps in there um, on any, you know, one particular object that is nature, you know, and so we don't worry about it too much. And so it, look, it actually looks good. I'm actually quite happy. And at this point, you probably is thinking that like, um, it's just too uh, monochromatic, but you know, just remember, you know, remember that's something that I always like, uh, like to, Make sure that we understand, you know, color is very good, you know, and make everything more beautiful, but 
um, you know, as artists, when we practice, it's always very, very good to use not much color. But then I will show you in just a second, and I'm sure you already have a pretty good idea that what I'm going to do uh, to make this a little bit more colorful. Just what I usually do my things. You see that in a minute. Okay, now um, I can actually bring in a, a smaller brush, but we're gonna, you know, have some more, a little bit more definition, because you know when you go up to the, to the top part of the, of the pine cone, things like tend to get a little bit more, you know. Uh, smaller you know that makes sense that's just natural nature you know whatever and uh, so i might need to bring in my little smaller brush which is just right here next to me so no worry and i think yeah let's just try that okay because the trade-off right as i always talk about with small brushes they are uh, um they are very good for fine line but they don't pick up a lot of pigments and so you don't Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm coming back over here and just like give it a little bit more definition, okay? Now the pine cone, the cap part of the pine cone is not, is never um, just nothing, right? Just a color. So now I'm uh, putting the characteristic of the, but need to be softened, okay? And don't make it too dark, okay? Don't just try not your best to make not make it to that because we want the contrast between the light and the dark and that's what make it uh, you know that's what nature is with the pine cone in this case and uh, we wanted to keep that and so yeah when you go in with your sepia color uh, let me i'm now looking intensely on my reference photo and make sure that i have the character correct okay like specs i guess you can call it the specs of the pine cone trying very hard to not bump the foam also but this is fun I'm having fun and the baby is still asleep and thank you for putting up with my uh, not so professional but very uh, helpful hopefully tutorial but not too shabby in my equipment and such, right? I hope that that's how you guys felt. Now I'm putting an outline on the outside. We don't really have to do that. Um, we can always use like what we always do, use the background. Use the background to, you know, kinda let you see where the, the outline is, right? But now I'm just uh, doing it for you so we can see it and we still, uh, I'm going to, you know, take a little bit of time to uh, take a little bit of time to uh, do a little bit of uh, background just a little bit I'm going to just uh, get the pine needle coming in you know ponderosa is always now I'm trying to make this a cup you know a cup shape it's like a fingernail right for the pine cone, there's like, like an arch shape over there. So I'm using the line and a little bit of shadow, you know, because I don't want to fuss with the top of the cap too much, because if we do, then it's very easy that we make this part too dark and then you've lost your contrast. So um, I don't want to do that. So we're doing our best to, you know, just uh, keep in mind, consider everything all the consideration, right? That uh, we uh, have to, as an artist, keep in our mind. Is it true that babies sleep very well in the daytime? It's the nighttime, right? That kills us when we want to sleep. But that's okay. You know, we, we change our mindset, right? change our mindset on light in life in everything you know tell us that you know it's very good for us to practice it's very good for us to work hard because then we can you know be happy and successful <laughs>
you know, and this uh, part pretty right here, you can see, you know, the light part of the cap. You know, I'm most unprofessional when it comes to a uh, description. Is that even true? So true. You know, so what I'm doing is like kind of outlining the white cap part and putting, putting some imperfection or uh, characteristic, if you may call that, you know, so it's not like just a plain and then we're pretty much done. And then I will just take a little minute to show you uh, what I'm going to do with the color. Okay, it's very, very simple. Okay, if I make this side darker because I want the cap shape to look more cap. <laughs> the cap shape to look, you know, to be more rounded. It's not a flat piece of half circle, okay? Now, this is actually part of the pine cone that we kind of missed earlier. I need to paint that and make sure we remember to paint that. Okay. Oh, isn't that fun? I hope you guys like that. And, uh, you know, next year when we come back to do pine cone again, I think that it will be next year, we're going to do one of the pottery barn, kind of inspire. It will be more green. Let's see if we can do that, okay? I always like wanted to do one of those for my home. You know, you go buy it from pottery barn, it's very, very expensive. You know, and so we might just uh, kind of, you know, look at it like I will and uh, kind of say, what can I do to create one that's our own, that we can do it together. But this little pine cone is very, very good, like for if you wanted to make a Christmas greeting for your friends, you know, and family, and that will be kind of fun. You know, you can do that, you know, and you can see that. You know, now it's really just coming together, right? Uh, remember, turn up your bright, okay? Because I am under a lot of constraint. Okay, now let's uh, just uh, do a color. So we're just going to use our tiny brush again, okay? Now what I'm going to do is dip in some yellow ochre. Ochre, yellow ochre, okay? And where the, you see that? Now you can see that the pine cone is coming, this color coming in, okay? It's more color. You not only can do it on the on the light part, but if you do it on the light part, that's just because why I'm doing that is because it's receiving the sun, right? And so see, just uh, dab a little bit of pigment here and there, okay? And you can do that here too. It's part of the underside, you know, but you know that it could have color, you know. And uh, I'm going to just do a little bit of quinacridone an orange on it just to make it even a little bit more colorful because uh, we majority of this painting was uh, monochromatic right we just used the sepia color and then we go with it but I think we can you know make it a little bit colorful and funner and more cheerful yeah I think you know we can say that about color it brings cheers and joy to our heart you know and I'm very, very, very grateful that the world is such colorful time when spring or early summer, you know, and the fall, you know, isn't that nice? Isn't that got nice? You know, give us so much color. Even in the winter though, it's not totally dark. Okay, now you can see that there's some color and wait until I put just a drop. Okay, it's because of my brush. I need to give, uh, I think this is Quinacolone Burn Orange. We'll just call it that. Or maybe, oh, this one is Quinacodon Gold. Okay, let's do the burnt orange one. And suddenly you get a little bit more intense color in here, you see that? But it's still true to nature though, right? Because it reflect color, it could be reflecting the fall foliage around, around, you know? It's, so it become a little bit more intense in the, in the colorful. I think it's just, um, now today I'm not going to worry about uh, the the shadow that's cast by the leaf, but you know we can like sometimes just you know use some uh, pink gray color and just paint this whole part, uh, put some a little bit of pink gray, and then that will put push this part back into the shadow. But not going to do that today. We're just gonna keep putting a little bit more 
connect on oh I, I i put it in the gold again okay so connect gold, gold with this you know because i don't um i'm not as uh uh as uh, familiar with my um with my traveling palette that i just show you but as i always promise you know it will come one day i will have a you know some of the product i use and just make one of those uh, so you guys can you know we can have fun together look at some of the stuff that i use okay you know i made that for myself a long time ago and i go uh go out and paint a lot with it with that this palette that i showed you earlier and uh, i haven't need to there's no need to i'm good now i'm uh, dipping uh, some yellow color like at home I, oh i actually make up a pool of green mix and i totally forgot you know to mix it here but i'm going to mix some green color right now and uh so what we're gonna do is we are going to um uh, you know just uh, make big strokes uh, across okay and that will you know be an indication to us that this is a pine cone and it's in nature and it's uh, coming out of uh, ponderosa okay how's that today is a ponderosa pine you know because i'm looking at you know my practice and stuff and so this part actually look lighter which is great this part right here on this side you know if you can see me i'm actually um right next to my phone with one arm crossing over to avoid bumping but thank you for um letting me uh do that uh, with you guys you know because uh it is quite fun that i can you know because you guys are willing to put up with my uh, personal very personal uh painting then i i can do that when i am on location even though i don't have all of my stuff here with me okay so what i did is i go into some indigo and you know so that the the pine needles had more color than just that sap green mix i mix sap green with um Oh, isn't that fun? That is so fun. Now, if you want to, which I'm going to do that because uh, I uh, I really like you guys, and I, you know, if there's a minute, I would, you know, I would like to show, you know, just something, you know, fun to do. So I'm mixing up my burnt umber, my burnt umber color, okay? And so I'm just putting a little stem over here coming out, uh, coming out from here, okay? I wasn't planning it, so it wasn't on the original pencil drawing, but it will be in your... Okay, so it just come... You see that? See that? Uh... Okay, I'm gonna soften it. Okay, soften the edges so it become a more rounded of a shape. Okay, and now I'm going in with the sepia color. Because it's darker, right? And I make this part darker right here, okay? Isn't that pretty? Nature is just so pretty. Okay, now I am. Uh, I would not make more branches because I'm not quite sure. I wanted to be sure. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, if the branch actually come. I don't think that there's a branch coming this way, so I would not. Yeah, make the take the liberty to do so. Okay, so just like that, and now I'm going to like use that green color that I have mixed and mix it. Um, you know, and I come over here and just, just a little bit of a background, okay? Just a little bit of a background right here. So that you can see, you know, how, uh, how a painting come alive with this little bit of a background, okay? And if you like it to be more colorful, okay, because we have put connectable, uh, we have put yellow ochre there, okay? So now I'm dropping yellow ochre all over, you see? How pretty that is, and that this is the part where it's always, you know, kind of fun and you can individualize it yourself, okay? And so we're almost done, and I'm very grateful that you guys are here with me. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that I know you like the things that I'm doing, okay? A little bit of brown over here. That's taking, you know, that when you drop some brown, it actually suggests to the mind that there might be a, might be a branch over here, okay? So that's very, very pretty. 
I really enjoy it. I really enjoy uh, saying hi and and uh, doing things. Even though I am with a baby, I'm totally enjoying this. Really, being here with the baby, she's so sweet, and being be able be able to be with my son and my daughter. That's also very very nice. They're awesome. Miss them. I told you guys though, right? They come down here for their graduate school, and so. You know, they will be here a few years and I'm sure I'll come, but you know, look at me, I can go on vacation, go on location, uh, not vacation, well, I guess this is a vacation. Well, if you go to Florida, does everybody think Florida is a vacation? One of my nice lady friends, I say, don't get too used to Florida, it's, it, it is kind of fun, and I told myself, well, I don't like humor, but now I'm here in uh, Quinecodon Burn Orange, okay? Just gonna drop some over here just to make the color pretty. Um, I told her, well... I, uh, I I don't like humidity. I have problem. You know, you wouldn't think that I would coming from Hong Kong, right? The tropical climate is so humid, but I do. <laughs> and so, but now it's January. January in Florida is lovely, right? I talked to the OBGYN yesterday, and uh, the doctor say, hey, "How do you like us here in Florida?" And I say, "Ah, uh, the weather is awesome. Like at home right now, it's right quite gloomy." And uh, he say. And the nurse say, don't, you you know, just so you know, don't come back in July. If you, <laughs> you know, July is just hard on all of us here. Just so you know. <laughs> well, you know what you do when you come in July, right? You go to the beach. You go to the beach. Anyway, okay, so this is, uh, this is it. And I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. And thank you for coming. You know, you see that I'm going in. You know some of this area right i do that and anyway so i will film my intro and just try to upload this and hope the light is like doing well but thank you so much i will talk to you guys next time